One of the great things about the Yellowfin 130T is that it comes rudder ready. In this video, we're going to show you the installation process. What you need is some duct tape, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a blade of some type. The first step is to loosen the tracks so that you can take the foot braces off. You're going to need to flip them and switch them to the opposite side of the boat. Then tighten the tracks back on. Repeat these steps on the back foot braces as well. Next, you need to add the toe rockers onto the foot braces. To do this, clip the toe rocker on and insert each spring clip into the gaps. You're going to need to repeat these steps on all four foot braces. After all the toe rockers are on, you're ready to run your steering cables through the boat. Make sure you're using the right length for the front and back and that they go all the way through. Feed the cord through the top of the tow rocker, then back under and around using the groove in the foot brace. Then tie the end of the cord to the loop at the end of the track with a simple overhand knot with four twists. Repeat this step on all of the other foot braces. First through the top of the toe rocker, then back under and around the groove in the foot brace. Tie each cord in to the loop on the front of each track. You're then going to want to test the cord to see if it's working and to get rid of any slack in the line. After that, you need to tape all of the toe rockers perpendicular to the foot braces. Then place the rudder in the hole in the back and insert the linchpin below. Next, you're going to run the deployment cable through the cam cleat and through the back of the boat. Then unfold the rudder and run the cable through the bottom. Then run it through the hole on the side and tie it off with a simple overhand knot. Get rid of any slack and then fold the rudder back down. Pull the deployment cable all the way through and tie the red ball at the end of the cable, leaving about three or four inches of hanging room. The next step is tying the steering cables. First, you pull the cable through the hole, around the groove, and back under the arm. Then tie a barrel knot around the cord in your finger. After looping the cord around, remove your finger to thread the cord through the loops and tighten the knot. Repeat these steps on the other side. Pull the cord through the hole, wrap around and back under the arm, to then loop around your finger and cord to make the barrel knot. After a couple loops, slip your finger out, thread the cord through, and pull to tighten. Repeat this process with the other cords as well, going around the groove and under the arm. When you're tying the barrel knot, go over both cords and just tighten the knot over the first cord's knot. Do the same thing with the last cord on the other side. Take all of the tape off, see if the deploy cable works properly. Then test out the tow rockers and steering cables. Then cut off the excess cables in the back, and you'll be ready to hit the water.
No drama, just adventure.